Hey yeah, uh, folks, so quick update on my Game Boy Advance tactile button switch mod, uh, the one that I did in this Game Boy a little while back. Check the description, there will be a link there. Um, but if you want to significantly improve it, take a little bit of cardboard. Um, in this particular case, I am using 0.6 millimeter cardboard or 0.0225 inch cardboard. Um, this is literally just off of like a soda can box. Um, like, you know, you buy a 12 pack of soda. That's what you get. Um, take some of this stuff, cut into little itty bitty squares or circles if you would, uh, if you prefer, but squares is just so much easier and it makes literally no difference. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about here. This is... This is something that I meant to uh, meant to do quite a while ago. I just didn't feel like taking this thing apart. But, uh, yeah, yeah, see what I'm getting at? Little squares, drop them in there. One for each button. And then when you put it back together, come on. see how it works. Oops. And we need a cart. How's about my test cart, which isn't where I thought it was. Shit. So that is Pokemon Sapphire. Okay, we'll screw it. We'll try Pokemon Sapphire. I see a problem. <laughs> yeah, the fact that that was working at all is ridiculous. Oh, that is still not great. Whatever, it's working good enough for a uh, test here. Or is it? Jesus. Alright, well, as you can see, running around just fine. Um, what you can't see from the video is that this feels significantly better than uh, it did. Uh, one small problem, well several small problems, uh, <laughs> but one of those is unrelated to the mod. Um, I can hit all four directions at once, so let's see if we can't fix that. Now, I think most games are smart enough these days to not have a problem with that. But... These days. Most other games that aren't Link's Awakening DX, basically. If I recall correctly, the solution to that issue is the exact same as the solution that I just did. That's going to be a small bit of cardboard in there. But as soon as I flip that over, that's going to come out. So I'm going to just leave it there. Oh, got to put the speaker in.
same thing. So let's double stack it. Glue would probably be a good idea. Where'd my cardboard go? This shell is probably getting ready to give up after threading and unthreading these screw holes so many times. Or threading and unthreading these screws. Oh, there we go. So yeah, just two stacks and Bob Jonti. Let's try it out. I'm going to actually fully assemble it this time though. Mostly. I'm going to test the screen first. That's better. Oh shoot, I was going to fix this too, but it's too much effort. I just wanted to round these corners. I ended up Ever since that um, battery gauge mod, I ended up putting some uh, vinyl tape to soften the effect. Anyway, in the off chance you didn't see my other video, uh, which quite frankly I don't actually know if it's going up before this one, so screw it, I'll just talk about it in this one too. Um, yeah, sorry I haven't been making as many videos lately. It's, um, I don't know, I'm just kind of burnt out. Stress, life, hobbies, etc. Uh, this is not my only hobby, and I do have a day job which pays for this hobby. And that's generally what I put most of my effort into. Most of my energy, rather. And lately I've just been kind of put off of this hobby, I guess. Which is making videos, cool shit, and putting it on the internet. But it is what it is. I'm fine, mostly. I'm still here. I'm just working on other stuff. I do not recommend lithium ion battery mods, by the way. This one's already done and I'm not gonna undo it. The bridge is already uh, set sail, but. Test. 
Huh, who was that? Haha. -ha. So as you can see, I cannot press all four buttons at the same time. It is a little bit tighter than I would have liked. Um, maybe it'll break in. Maybe I just need to really give it what for. Oh, there we go. I can do all four at the same time if I press real hard. But, oh well, close enough. I think my screen also isn't seated properly. Still, which is annoying, but there you go. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. All right, quick follow up. I was going to put some notes in the description, but I know most of you fucks won't read it anyway. So, um, I got the screen fixed. The problem is the ribbon cable adapter because this is an old AGS 101 mod. There is a ribbon cable that goes from the console to the screen ribbon cable. Etc. Etc. I don't know if it's broken or what, but I ended up just shoving a bunch of foam in there, and then when I screwed it together, everything was working and it's stable. And unless I do that, but you know, it seems to work fine. But anyway, the uh, cardboard I used, I think it's a little bit too thick because the D pad is it's a chore to use. Um, I don't know how well you can see this, but Stop shaking. That is all the travel there is. And you have to press kind of kind of hard. Um, I think maybe that cardboard is a little bit on the thick side. This is a really bad at game for that example. Let me throw in the sapphire. So, I mean, it does, it does still work. I don't know if you can hear that clicking. And yeah, you can still run around, no problems. It's just after about, you know, 15, 20 minutes, it is going to hurt your thumb. You have to press a little bit too hard, I think. So maybe slightly thinner cardboard. I was using, what, 0.58 millimeter, so maybe 0.5 millimeter. It just enough probably be fine um i don't know it it'll take some playing around with to get it dialed in right but i think i think if you didn't already figure something out something something like this out from my last video then i hope this sets you in the right direction so anyway thanks for watching guys